Hey, welcome to another two minute quick wildlife photography tip video. In this one I want to talk about the importance of becoming a student of animal behavior. Learning about animal behavior can help you find out where and when to find certain species, how to approach them, and also predicting certain behaviors that you may want to photograph. Now stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll recommend some of my favorite books that I have that I've learned a lot of animal behavior from. Now one of them is the bearded tit. A bearded tit is a small, really cool looking bird and they live in large reed beds. In the summer months, they feed on insects and invertebrates, so they're basically just in the reeds, and it's, it's almost impossible to find them. But knowing that come October time, they switch their feeding strategy, and they start eating the seeds on top of the reeds. And that's when they come up, and you can photograph them much easier. That same thing for crested tits. Throughout the summer months, they're really tricky to photograph because they feed all the way up top of the canopy of pine trees. But in winter time, they actually change their feeding strategy and you can find them lower down in the branches and even down on the ground and they become a lot easier to photograph. Knowing certain things about the breeding strategies can also help you find and photograph animals. Take the black grouse for instance. They have breeding leks, just a certain area that they come back to year after year but this is where they display, this is where they fight for the right to breed in their population. So knowing where that's going to be and when it's going to happen will allow you to set up a hide, you know, arrive before dawn and be ready there to photograph them. Wading birds or shore birds for you Americans, uh, they basically go by the tidal cycles. So at low tides, you can find them out by the shores, feeding in intertidal. But come high tide, they gather in big flocks to roost in small waters or fields or anything like that nearby. Very often, you can predict animals' behavior. For instance, with a lot of geese, they will often defecate before they take off into flight. Learning the signs that animals leave behind, you know, you can learn how to find them and track animals. I have a video on this on my Patreon site where I basically find a badger set takes you guys with me out into the field and we go through the signs that lead me to find the badger set. And I also have this for black grouse where I go through step by step how I found a black grouse lek. You can check out the playlist for more of these two minute wildlife photography videos here. Then I'm going to show you guys some books that I have that I recommend as a starting point for really starting to learn animal behavior and where and how to find animals. Understanding Bird Behavior by Stephen Moss, a great short book on uh, bird behavior to start out with. The RSPB British Bird Finder is a brilliant one for UK, where you go through individual species and where you're likely to see them. And I'd also recommend Birds, a complete guide to their biology and behavior. And finally, Animal Tracks and Signs is a really good one to learn the field signs for finding wildlife. And I also have a video on how I research and plan to find wildlife to photograph, and you can check that out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick two-minute wildlife photography video, and I'll catch you next week for some more.